Hi, this is Steven and welcome to your practice. Today I want to talk to you briefly about the past and future and I will do a little practice to uh, put some of these things we're discussing into practice in our uh, little mindfulness uh, session. The, what is the past? The past is nothing more than a collection of things that you have experienced before. All the things you've ever seen and touched and smelled and heard, the people you've met, the experiences you've had are stored in this huge memory bank uh, of the human mind. And it's really incredible the, the amount of information that can be stored there is practically unlimited. But there's a couple of limitations. One thing is we never um, remember everything exactly how it happened. So that means that about half of our memories are true. That's exactly how it went. But the other half are a little bit made up. We didn't uh, remember the full story and we filled in some gaps here and there with our imagination. If we speak to somebody else who was there with you in the same situation, we're gonna get a different story because that person filled in some of the gaps with their imagination. So that's the first thing to remember. Now what is the future? Is nothing more than what we have experienced in the past and then we've sort of scrambled that story up a little bit, broken it down, and we've added some uh, imagination source, I like to say, and that's the future. In our mind, it doesn't exist yet, so we're creating it um, as, a, as a sort of a forward projection. But what is it based on? It can only be based on what we already know and what we have experienced before. We can't imagine something that we don't even know exists, for example. So that's future in our mind. And you've probably heard of staying in the present moment and being here in the now. Uh, but in the next meditation, we're actually gonna go back and forward in a positive way. What would be a negative way is if you get stuck in the past, like, oh, this shouldn't have happened. And uh, my parents or this teacher, or this boss should have done something differently uh, or that accident um, ruined everything for me, for example. What uh, is negative about the future is that oh I hope this doesn't come my way or I'm really attached to this thing happening and I don't, I don't accept any other outcome. This would hold us back actually in the moment which is where we're creating our future after all. So now in our short mindfulness practice we'll do a more positive approach to the past and the future just to experience it. Close your eyes. Take a moment to ground down in this simple place. Feel your body, your mind, your breath all settle in the next couple of moments. Now first we're going to go back to the past and I would like you to imagine yourself as a five-year-old innocent little boy or girl with big curious eyes looking at the world, experiencing it having your own uh, personality developing, your interests are clear, and you're really excited about life. So just take a moment and, and be with this little person for a moment. Yourself, your older, uh, younger version of yourself. Just be with that little five-year-old. And then just ask yourself, what would this little five-year-old be really proud of me doing today as a a 20, 30, 40, 50 year old, whatever your age is at the moment. What would a little version of me with the curious wide eyes be really proud of me doing right now? Maybe you're really kind, maybe you're really patient, maybe you're a good listener, maybe you like to um, go for a run in the morning, doesn't matter. And let go of this past version of yourself, just let it rest. Take a few breaths and then we'll prepare to go to our future. In reality, we're not going to the past, we're not going to the future. We can only be right here, even our minds. But um, it's nice to imagine these things sometimes to see what we can learn. Now, I'd like you to imagine yourself as an 80 year old. You're sitting in your rocking chair on the on a terrace, on a stoop, overlooking whatever it is that you see, maybe a garden, maybe a nice view. 
And I would like you to just take a moment, feel yourself as this eight-year-old. Rest your body on this rocking chair. And then just take a moment to, in your mind, just look around and what is available around you. Which kind of relationships do you have? Are there other people there? Is there a grandchild playing your feet? For example. And what are the stories that you tell about your life to the people around you? What is it that you're really proud of that you have invested effort and time into in your life? What can you look back on with a real sense of accomplishment? Like this thing I went through, it was really hard, it was super challenging, it took me a very long time, but this is um, what I have achieved. And then take a few deeper breaths. Allow this image of your eight-year-old self to fade away. You're not quite there yet. you still got some time. And lower your chin down to your chest. You can blink your eyes open when you feel ready. And that was it today. A little bit about the past and the future. A little practice. I hope you have enjoyed. And take good care.